Welcome to Fraser 365. I'm Will Adams, Media Director at Fraser Church in Montgomery, Alabama. And during these weeks, I'm going to be doing a series of interviews for our daily devotional. This week, I'm here with Jared Dormany, who is our Minister of Music and Worship. And each day, I'll be asking him a different question. All right. Well, today's question is, tell us about a significant moment in the early days of your faith journey. Well, there's a lot of significant days. Um, (laughs) A lot of people don't know this, but I actually gave my life to Christ at the end of a judgment house experience at the age of 14. Uh, So that was a significant moment. Uh, Then I had a significant person in my life my senior year of high school. Uh, And, and, you know, that kind of led me on a path towards really exploring my faith in a deeper way. But really kind of the the moment that has really helped the trajectory or shaped the trajectory of my life as a believer uh, was actually when I auditioned for the worship team at the age of 20 or 21. Uh, Rob Webster uh, and, and these are his exact words where he took a he took a chance on a punk 21 year old kid. Um, I mean, I think I don't, I, I don't my hair might have been blonde and spiky at that time. I don't know what it was. Anyway, I've had all the different various hairstyles, but he took a chance on a 21 year old punk kid and allowed me onto the worship team um, and allowed me to begin singing on the worship team. And then he began to, to teach me how to play guitar uh, and then uh kind of all of this moment came to one kind of point when his wife uh, got sick on a Sunday morning, had to go to the hospital. And he looked at me and said, you're up. And I mean, at this point, I had never prayed in front of more than just, you know, the 10 people on our worship team. And all of a sudden, I have to walk out onto the platform and lead worship in front of, I don't know, probably close to a thousand people in worship that morning. And man, it was a train wreck. It was a dumpster fire. Uh... I, in fact, I was so nervous, I asked the church to please play with me instead of please pray with me. Uh, there are some church members, uh, Linda Locklear, if you're listening, this is you, who still give me a hard time about that every chance she gets um, to remind me of those moments. But that opportunity to lead worship, that he saw leadership in me, something that I did not see in myself, was huge. Uh, Rob was just that person in my life who gave me a lot of these moments. I mean, first time I ever wrote a a, a Christian worship song, it was terrible. But Rob listened to it, and he thought it was important enough for me to be able to share that, that he had me play it in service one day. Um, And then that's led to all these things. You know, now I write a lot of music, and uh, then it was him when he stepped out of this role and went to uh, a church out in Kansas City that encouraged the church to hire me as the interim worship leader, Uh, and that was 16 years ago now. Uh, So, really, Rob allowing me on the worship team, taking a a risk on a 21-year-old punk kid has now led to all that I have experienced since then. I'm just curious. I know this wasn't the highlight of what you said, but you mentioned the Judgment House. For those who don't know, I just want you to explain what a Judgment House is. So, a Judgment House... uh, I, th- I, it's, I believe it's a Baptist thing, like the Baptist churches. I really think Eastmont Baptist Church is the one that put it on. Uh, they would rent out a space at a strip mall, and they would basically do all these sketches of, you know, kids who were living wrong. Uh, and, and, and in this experience, I think the kids had been drinking and got in a car, and one of them died in a uh, car wreck. And the next scene, they're in hell. Basically, yeah, and uh, so I, I'm one of those kids that were scared out of hell. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. I, I bring it up only because they're usually done as a kind of a replacement for a, a haunted house. Yes, uh, yes, around. right at right around Halloween. Exactly. So it, it, I just want to point out that we're probably getting close to your spiritual birthday by yeah. virtue of that. Something that you know you may not have thought about, but you're right. I haven't thought about that. That would have been 26. 26- 26 years ago. Yeah. Is my math right? I was 14. I'm 40 now. So yeah, 26 years ago. Wow. How about that? Mm-hmm.